Hello once again, my people. It is I, Veed, and uh, we are about to finish off this dungeon. I'm pretty sure we're going to finish this dungeon in this episode. So, uh, episode 9. Not quite episode 10, but, I mean... It's still a nice... It's still, like, a nice number to end on. It's my lucky number. At least I like to think that it's my lucky number. So we're going to go up into one of these fucks. Are these on fire? I don't remember. Yes, they are! Yes, they are! Kill it! Kill it! Damn it! Uh... I should have paused and switched. Alright, whatever. I'll go buy one when I'm in the Kokiri Forest or whatever. So then, uh, fine. Let's go back. I should have just kept the shield on throughout the whole entire thing, but... Guess what? It's not that simple. Don't you fly away from me. Come on. Thank you. Or maybe I have another chance to buy a shield. Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't quite remember what to do in here. Oh, wait. I think I... I think I remember. I think I remember. Cool. I remembered one part of it. I don't quite remember the other parts. Oh, wait. Shit. I needed to go in there, didn't I? Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, no one likes you. Come on. Explode! Hit you. Thanks. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad! Thank you. And I got another one of these fuckers that I can kill off. Ooh, gold Skulltola. So not really anything that, like, I needed from in here, but, I mean, it was nice. Bitch. Peace, you little asshole. I'm gonna die, and the cause of death is gonna be from Keese. Cool, and then this is here to push down for later. Because I probably should have fucking done that. Okay. Oh! I don't have a bottle! Damn it! I don't remember where I get a bottle. I know that you get, like, one default for the Zoras, but... I don't quite remember. Okay, let's go ahead and drop her in there. Drop her down. Get some attention. Ah, fuck you! Damn it. And then let's go ahead and pull you out. I'm getting so... My phone is gonna die. <laughs> in like the next like few hours because all I'm doing is fucking recording videos and getting snapchat notifications so I want like a new camera so in that way I don't have to like use this the whole entire time and into the boss area we go which this boss is super easy what is this? ooh more bombs I'm just gonna waste one right there, because I need it. And then we're gonna drop down. She drops like an angel, and that's not- that doesn't happen in real life. You would break- you would have broken your feet. Or probably die. Ooh. And, let's go ahead and look at this fucking big boy. Ooh, Infernal Dinosaur King Dodongo. Throw that in there. Like I said, this boss is super fucking easy. Ow. Not today. Oh god. See, and at least they give you, like, bombs to work with if you die. Come on. 
One. One time. Give it to me one time. Uh, give it to me two times. Uh, uh, give it to me three times. Uh, uh, let's go. Come on. One more time. Come on. Rule of Nintendo. It's the rule of three. Oh, nope. Never mind. Not in this case. Not in this case. Bam. I don't need you, Navi. I know how to beat this bitch. Bam. Explode, Dad. There we go. Five minutes, or not, yeah, like basically five minutes in. Six minutes in, maybe. And now he's just gonna roll, bounce around. He doesn't know what he's gonna do. And burn. Oh, turn into crispy. Crispy, crispy. Hi. My parents are outside. <laughs> I'm, I'm recording. Hi. Okay, ciao, ciao. Uh, I love my parents. Honestly, really do. I don't like for some whatever reason, Americans specifically are just like, God, I cannot fucking stand my parents. I love, I love my parents. I love them so much. Cool. So now that we beat that one, uh, all the uh, Gorons are going to be happy because they can get their fucking rocks again. Woo! Oh, where am I? I don't know where we are. Ba Whoa! You just came crashing down, didn't you? <laughs> it's me, Darunia. Well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from Dodongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. You probably just killed Link, dude. What a wild adventure! It'll make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongos. Whoa. I can't believe that the Dorgongos suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave? All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? Like, like blood brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved, just take this as a token of our friendship. Oh, yay. Hopefully it's not one of those things where it's like Blood Brothers. And I have to like, cut my hand, and you have to cut your hand, and then we have to do a handshake. Hopefully it's like, nothing like that. Cause you can catch HPV by that. <gasps> Ooh, look at how pretty she is. Look at her. Um, Yes, we got it. We have to. We have to. Uh, you have obtained the Goron's ruby. This is spiritual stone of the fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find, which is the spiritual stone of water. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Uh, hey everybody, let's see off our brother! Oh, oh, getting... You did great! How's about a big Goron hug, brother? <laughs> Bitch me. Uh-oh! Okay, let's go up. <laughs> okay, so that's actually a good segue to, uh, next episode. Our... Or, like, a good segue to, like, end the next episode, where we'll just, like, go up to Death Mountain and beat this bitch. Because, uh, ooh, this is gonna kill us easily. Okay, cool. Bomb that bitch. Bomb that bitch. Get some rupees. Get some of whatever that is. Bomb that bitch! Ayy, and then get us a fucking red ruby. And I think there's a cow under here. I think this is the one where you have to like milk a cow for whatever reason. There's a whole entire side quest, which I'm not gonna go into. But like, there's just like, there's cow that you have to milk in order to get like this really, really strong sword. But I'm not gonna go through that side quest right now because that is a fucking mess. <laughs> 
it is a mess of a side quest, but I'm not doing it. Okay. So, this is what she was talking about beforehand. One, two. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh god. 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 Okay, and then there's more. Oh god. Don't fall on me! Don't fall on me, you asshole. Don't fall on me, you asshole. Ow. God damn it. Okay. So, that's where the Hyrule Shield comes in handy. And now I need to get, like, a fuck ton of health. Oh, and then there's this little little tiny Skultola down there. It's really nice to just kind of aim up and then just, like, snipe down the Skultolas as you see them. Okay. So we're just gonna go climb up this bitch. And we're gonna see that owl one more time. This one I remember, but this one he does you great. What? Darunia said that the fairy lives on top- I- What do you think I am doing, Navi? What do you think I am doing? Oh yeah, see? Here he is. So we're not gonna talk to him just yet. Uh, bombs. Cool, we always need some bombs. Although we love bombs hidden inside of rocks. Cool. This is where she lives, so we are just going to... Ooh, Great Fairy's Fountain. And then, in order to do this... Oh, God, and then... I think this is my first experience with uh, drag queens. Because, like, ooh, she is fucking beat for the gods. <laughs> Welcome, Veed. I am the great fairy of power. I'm going to grant you a sword technique. Receive it now. <laughs> oh, look at her, Chola. <laughs> She's just like, experience it. Have sparkles glitter out my vagina. Oof. But, I mean, now we get, like, an actual power bar. And a spin attack. So now, it's super nice. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate once and then press B for a very effective quick spin. Which I've been doing, like, this whole entire time. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your green magic meter. Hey boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. She'll surely grant you another new power. When battle has made you weary, please come back and see me. You know what? I'm actually going to do that before I end the episode, because it's only going to take like a few minutes. So yeah, you can do that. Just ro rotate it once. Come on. Come on. There we go. And then you just charge it down. One, and two. Bam! We love a good spin attack. So yeah, this episode's gonna be like what? Like maybe like 18, 20 minutes? What hot! What? It looks like you've grown up a little from the Great Fairy's power! But you still don't really look like the hero who will save Hyrule. At least not yet! If you are going back down the mountain, I can lend you a wing. Come here and grab my talons and hold on tight. Come on. I want to go back down. And I'm going to go to Hyrule Castle. And, uh, bitch, we're going to get new power. Ugh, god, this cutscene always takes, like, forever and a decade. That was literally just like a piece of paper. And then I believe from up here we can get like something else. I can't quite remember. Uh, I don't think so. Ooh, okay. So before we do anything else, we are going to just go quickly to uh, Hyrule Castle. 
wait for the day to go by. Which honestly doesn't take that long in the simulator. That's I know that that's Hyrule Field. It honestly like doesn't take that long. So see, like already it's becoming daytime. Ooh, I got a magic jar. Fuck off. At least give me like hearts to work with. Damn. Okay. So then, when it comes back to daytime, then that bridge is gonna go down, and the fire is going to go out like magic. Let's go ahead and just hop there, so on that way I don't hit waste a lot of time. Because I know exactly where the fuck she's talking about. Okay. So we're just gonna go back into the market. So that I don't need anything from the market this time. And we're just going to go to Hyrule Castle! And hopefully not get caught. Okay. So, I basically know, like, almost, like, all of the locations of the Great Fairy, of the Great Fairies. I can't quite remember one of them. But, I do know where one of them is. Bye, bitch. Oh, wait, I think I remember where a few of them are. God, I can't, like, not rem fully remember where all of them are. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to get some more fucking great fairy realness. Ooh, draw me like one of your French girls, honey. Ooh. I'm just like a little bit subtle, it's okay. We love a good subtle queen in this household. Welcome, Veed. I'm the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. Which will be Din's fucking fire. At least I'm pretty sure. Yep! Din's fire! Come through. Ooh. You got Din's fire. Its fireball engulfs everything. It's, atta it's attack magic you can use with C. Which is really nice for later on in the game. You can use Din's fire not only to attack, but to also burn things. When battle has made you wary, please come back and see me. Aha! Cool. Alright, so then... Let's just go ahead and exit out real quick. Get some nice scenery. And... I am going to stop the episode there. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Veed. I hope that you're having a fun time, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye.